Said Hutan has met with the Zona Working Committee and Zona Caucus of the PDP North Central in Abuja, discussing his bid for the party's national chairmanship. Hutan criticized the APC and made rising hardships for adopting hardships policies, emphasizing the need for the PDP to unify to reconcile with key party figures. He also highlighted the constitutional rights of the North Central region within party guidelines. As a party, to begin to challenge the status quo, to re-engineer this country, but first of all, we must re-engineer ourselves as a party. The PDP needs a fix, and a quick fix at that. My intention is to reconcile this party, to build peace, and to bring unity amongst our ranks, to visit all the big names that we have in the PDP. You must have heard the names of the people who are also running to replace Dr. Yu Chiyu in the north, from the north central zone. Former governors, former ministers, former deputy governors, former national committee members, former local government chairman. I am the only aspirant who is a former nothing. Absolutely nothing. What I bring to the table is not the CV of a former anything, but I bring to the table a CV that is filled with the technical and intellectual know-how, but most importantly, the courage that is required at a time like this to rebuild our party. I come with no ego. I come with no party baggage. I'm ready to go to every party leader within our ranks of the PDP in Nigeria to beg even on my knees on the need for our party to come together to save this country. Look at the price of commodities in the market, the price of fuel, the price of cooking gas, the price of transport. I need to repeat again that some of us sitting even in this hall, our children have not been able to resume to school this term because people cannot pay. So we do not even need to campaign against the government in power. The government in power, the APC is already campaigning for our party. What is left for us to do is to come together and build cohesion. Cohesion that we build genuinely on unity and true reconciliation from within our ranks. That self, this party has been fragmented if, into several big energy centers that must, must, I repeat, must come to the table for the sake of Nigeria. Regarding the recent Edo governorship election, he deemed it unacceptable and a threat to democracy, stressing the importance of challenging the status quo for Nigerians' progress. Hutan called the recent Edo governorship election unacceptable, describing it as a threat to the nation's democracy during a time of crisis. He emphasized the need for the party to challenge the status quo and advocate for Nigerians' progress against those who wish to undermine it. It is an aberration. It's a, it's, a, it's a political rape on our democracy. What happened in the two states was not an election. But that goes to show the arrogance of the people in power, where they believe that they can write results. And look, if we allow this template to succeed, they will dare to try it for the rest of Nigeria. That is why we need to rebuild ourselves as a party and bring raise leaders who are strong enough to challenge the status quo. If we allow what happened in Edo to repeat in any other state in Nigeria, then we can as well kiss democracy goodbye. If I were the chairman of the PDP in 2023, the PDP will be in the villa right now. We will not be out here running opposition politics. It comes with sacrifice. Leadership comes with sacrifice. And it also comes with humility. And drawing everybody to the table where everybody is carried along. I assure you, like in the next few weeks, I will assure the rank and file of my party, the PDP, that if they trust and trust the leadership of this party in my hands, certainly I am not here to start a new term as national chairman. I am here to complete the term of our former chairman, most distinguished senator, Yuchi Ayu, whose term ends sometime in November next year. But then I will be able as chairman to put together a convention that will bring about a national working committee that will deliver the next presidency to the PDP as the party in 2020.
But the problem of rivers is an internal problem, and the only so true solution that will come will come internally from river state. But like I told you in my opening remarks, it will take someone who comes without baggage and without ego to go on his knees and beg the big wigs back to the table to bring about a lasting solution to the problem that we have in rivers. If what is happening in rivers is left to fester, it will also spread its ugly head in other states of the PDP in Nigeria. Because like you know, the party that is in government is paraded by people who are criminally inclined to even create crisis within the opposition to the extent that they will go, they will go on challenge in the next round of elections. So it is quite unfortunate. But like I said, we cannot force peace on the people. Peace has to be homegrown. And the problem in the APC, in, in the PDP, in River State, can only be solved if we are able to go there and solve the problem. Shut down our egos, remove all these people. Look, all the big, big power blocks in Nigeria certainly belong to either one camp or the other. It is important for the PDP to bring somebody who does not belong to any of those power blocks, to any of those power, power camps to bring about lasting peace, not only in River State, but in other troubled chapters of the party across Nigeria.